Welcome to this video. This video explains how to start writing and using Python script in Abacus software. Why Python scripting in Abacus can help us. Scripting is a powerful tool that allows us to combine the functionality of the graphical user interface of Abacus and the power of the programming language Python. In these three situations, you will find out that Python scripting is really time-saving in Abacus simulations. First, when we need to repeat a task several times to create a model. As an example, creating an RVE of composite materials needs creating several fibers and assigning material properties and orientations to all of them. Applying periodic boundary conditions to this RVE also needs definition of several equations. Second, when we want to have a parametric model. Python scripting can help us to create a new model, only by entering some parameters. Third, when we want to run a problem several times and extract the results. If you are interested to know how to create, understand, modify, and use Python script files in Abacus environment, please keep watching this video. Sometimes we have an RPY file from Abacus documentations or a website, but most of the time we need to create our file from the beginning. To create an RPY file which creates a model in the Abacus environment known as MDB model, the fastest way is to create the model in the software and copy the related commands. As an example, we want to write a Python code to create a cylinder based on its radius and length. At the first step, create a cylinder in the software environment. The part is 3D and deformable. Now create a circle and sketch module by its center, and a point on the circle. Then save the CAE file. Please note that saving is not mandatory. Then we open the abacus.rpy file to find the related Python commands. To open this file, you can use Abacus PDE or Python software. This file is located in the work directory of the software. If you are not sure about the location of this file, you can right-click on the software icon and choose Properties, then see the start and address. Now we can save as the file, or copy the commands, and create our own script file and modify it. To understand a script file, at first we need to identify types of lines of it. A Python script file may contain the following types of lines. First, comments or descriptions lines. These lines start with hash. All the lines which start with hash, do not change the script, so we can change or delete them without any problem. For example, these lines in the last line are comments. Second, lines which adjust viewport. Operations like zooming in or zooming out, and rotating the view, do not change the model. These operations start with session and we can find them in our script easily. To summarize our code, in continue we delete all the comment lines and lines which start with session. To describe our code, it's a good way, to add descriptions to different part of the code. For example, we add this line to describe the code function. In the beginning of a Python script there are some lines for importing required useful modules which starts with from or import. We need to keep these lines, and in some cases we should add more modules to our script. The last but not the least part of a Python script is commands. These commands related to creating a cylinder in Abacus. Now let's investigate these lines one by one. The first line indicates viewport preferences, and has no effect on the model. Considering second and third lines we can see, that there is an indentation in the third line. In Python script indentation in the beginning of a line, is of great importance. Here indentation shows, that the third line is continuation of the second line, and these two lines are one command. In this command at first we choose model 1 from all the models which exist in the MDB. Then we add a sketch to this model with this name. 
we put the sketch in variable s, so rather than the name of this sketch we can use it by this variable. This number shows the approximate size of the sketcher sheet. Please note that we tune this number in the software environment. However, this value has no effect on the model. To understand the next line please note that variable s stands for the sketch. In this line we assign geometries of the sketch to the variable g, vertices of the sketch to the variable v, dimensions of the sketch to the variable d, and constraints of the sketch to the variable c. The next line is an operation on s. This command makes the sketch the primary object in the current viewport. This command creates a circle by its center and a point on the circle. Considering the indentation, the next two lines are one command. In this command we choose the model one another time and create a part in this model. The name of the part is cylinder. The part is 3D and deformable. You can remember these settings in the software environment. In the next command, from the model 1 choose part with the name of cylinder and put this part in variable p. From now, we can use this variable instead of the part. The next line executes an extrusion operation for the part p. In the extrusion the sketch s which is a circle and this number which shows the length of extrusion are used. This command removes the sketch s from the current viewport. In fact, it is reversing the effects of this command. This line is repeated, and we can delete it. This line deletes the sketch using its name. The last line save the model to a CAE file. Here is the path and file name of the CAE file. Now we understood all lines of the script file and want to change it to a parametric script. Our goal is to create a code that receives the radius and length of a cylinder and creates the cylinder in the software. This line creates the circle. This point shows the center of the circle. We do not need to change this point. We just change the next point which is a point on the circle based on the radius. So we delete the number and add the parameter r for radius. At the beginning of the code we add a line to define the value of the radius. This line extrudes the cylinder and this value shows its length. We delete this number and add the l variable as the cylinder length. In the beginning of the code, we define the value of the length. The final code is like this, we can save it in an PY or RPY file, and use it in Abacus software. These changes can be done in Abacus PDE or text editors. To execute a script file in Abacus environment, use File, Run Script and choose the script file. Another way is to copy commands in the kernel command of the software. For this purpose, you can open the file in Python software, Abacus PDE, or even in a text editor. Then modify the script and copy all lines. Here in the bottom part of the software we have two tabs. The first is message area, and the second is kernel command. We can paste the script here. Please note that this method is not appropriate for long scripts. This method can help when we want to execute few commands on a model. The kernel command can be used as Python environment and you can check your commands here. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please help us to improve our videos by your comments. You can find lots of videos about basics of mechanics and simulations in Abacus in our channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and use these videos.